What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first part of modeling the Jigga. I'm going to call it that for short. Um, anyway, this is what we essentially accomplish in this video. We pretty much just model in the body and just starting with the basic shapes and doing the head and the tail here. And um, I just wanted to let you know that this video will be more of like a time lapse slash voiceover. And then towards the end, I have some real time um, footage playing with some commentary. But if you're confused as to how I set up the blueprints, I have a video that I basically walk th walk you through how to do that. And um, it's in real time, so there shouldn't be any confusion with that. Uh, otherwise, this is what we're going to accomplish, and I'm excited for the series to start, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. Hello, and welcome to the first part of modeling the Giganotosaurus. Um, I didn't record while I was actually working on the dinosaur, so I'm just going to do a quick voiceover. Uh, right now, I'm just setting up my references. Um, they will be provided in the description. So I just set up the right perspective, now I'm setting up the front. And what I'm doing is I'm just lining it up so that it is cut in half. The right reference I don't move, I just place it as is. And what I'll do is I'll adjust the images around the right perspective. I actually don't use this image too much. I found it um, didn't really work with my uh, reference images, but I did refer back to it a few times just to do some comparisons. I do actually end up changing the side perspective reference. I wanted a reference where the feet were still on the ground. So here I'm adding in the first part of the mesh, but then I decided that I wanted to add in a different blueprint. This one had the top and um, the side perspective, and I liked that it was standing still on the ground. So I'm just adding that cube back in. I just have to go back and make sure everything's kind of proportioned correctly. So with the front perspective image that I've been using, I noticed that it doesn't really match too well with the top and side perspective. So as I've previously stated, I don't really use this one too much. I do refer back to it occasionally. So now I'm adding in the circle with 16 vertices and I'm gonna start blocking in just the basic shape.
I'm using the active element to scale on the Z. Not too worried about the top perspective just yet. Um, I'm going to go in and adjust all that in a sec. And then the top perspective, it's off a little bit as far as where my mesh is lining up, but it doesn't bother me too much, so I'm not going to move it. So all I'm really doing is scaling using the active element or median point. And right when we get to about here, I'm going to, um, I think originally I, I try to add in some, a loop, a loop cut to create the mouth opening, but then I end up just selecting a previously made edge and then just using the rip tool. So I, I just deleted that edge I made. So then I just select these verts and I go down to the rip and I just rip it off. So now I'm getting to the point where I'm going to join the jaw in together. And I always seem to get the math wrong when I do this, or I just don't like the way it looks. I'm just trying to use the grid fill and see if that will do anything for me, but it didn't seem to work. And then I select the faces and I smooth the vertices out. I added that extra edge to um, support the jaw so it doesn't disfigure the shape when I smooth the verts. And now I do the same thing with the top that I did with the jaw. So in a few moments, you'll hear my real-time recording uh, voice take over. actually just delete this edge here we don't need it I guess um 
guess I was wrong about adding that in. I can't do math. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fix this up again using the space. And same thing, click over. This will be the active element, loop tools, and space. Now everything's nice and neat here. Now what we'll do is we'll make the mouth a little neater. Let's control V, smooth the verts. Let's crank it up. I think we can go another one. See how we're doing there. That looks okay. Might just rotate a little bit and pull it down on the Z. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm just going to wrap it up with smoothing the verts out and I'll see you in the next one.